Hello everyone, welcome back to the video and today I'm going to show you how to make a server on server.pro. Now this video here is for the beginners of Minecraft and for the beginners that want to make servers and do not know how to do it. And today I'm going to show you how to do that for free. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually click on the link in the description down below and come over to server.pro. So once you click on the link in the description down below, you should come over to a page just like this. So what you're going to want to do from here is actually sign up for an account. So if you don't have an account for a server.pro, just sign up just here or if you have an account just sign in so i'm just going to log in just up here in the corner up here i'm going to click on that login button and i'm going to sign in so once you have signed up or logged in they should bring you over to a page just like this one just here if you can't find this page all you got to do is click on the pricing up here and click on that it should just bring you straight over here just like this so what you're going to want to do is click on the first one just here as you can see one gigabyte here and it's the low uh, one just there so it's the low server for zero dollars just there so this is the one we're going to want so what we're going to want to do is come down you can read about it just here if you want to so this is some of the stuff you get just here but i'm going to come down here further and click on uh, create free server just there now once you do that it should bring you to a page just like this one then just click on this button just here so now we have selected the zero dollar server just here now come down you can choose two places here france or canada so i'm going to click on canada just there so then i'm going to come down even further now you can choose Minecraft Java Edition, you can choose Bedrock as well just there if you want to make a Bedrock server, so you can do that. You can choose the type of Minecraft just here, so you can do a snapshot, you can do a paper, spigot, a craft bucket, and you can't really do any uh, uh, mod launchers, as you can see they're all greyed out just here. So you can have plugins if you want to, uh, you can do that if you like to just there. Also the version over here, you can choose the version, they go all the way down to 1.4.7 just there, all the way up to 1.18.2. So that is the one I'm going to select. And right here is your host name, which is your IP to join your Minecraft server. I'm going to call this something random. I'm going to call it slow123 because I think I've already made a server before on this server hosting. So I'm going to call it that. And you can choose a domain name just here. So there you go. That's what mine is. And down here you can see this is what you are getting right here. And you also got to put in this verification code just here as well. Now once you have done that, just click on create server. And then it should be processing and here we are in my server just now i can see my server is actually offline just there now to start your server up all you got to do is click on the little green button just there so that is the power on button but i'm not going to do that just yet i'm going to leave it for a little bit because i don't want to do it just yet so here is the server details just here we've got the minecraft vanilla uh, 1.18.2 just there also you can go straight to the server properties by clicking this button just here which I don't think it's going to be there just yet because we need to load up my server before we can go into there. Right down here is the host name which you can use this to join your Minecraft server. You also want to give this to your friends so they can join your Minecraft server just there. And down here is your IP address as well. You can use that to join your Minecraft server as well. Right over here on the side we have got advanced settings just here. Now there's, there's nothing in here you need to do. You can just leave all this. Uh, there's files just here. Now you've got a few files in here. Now this should change out a little bit once we actually boot up our server and it actually looks like my server has booted up for some reason on its own so i'm to leave my server on so um yeah basically all you got to do is load your server on by the little green button that was over here just earlier click on that and your server should come online so just do that for some reason it automatically switched mine on it might do the same thing for you i'm not too sure but back over to files just here as you can see here you've got all your files in here you can upload your own world by clicking the little upload button just over here and you've got to make sure your server is turned off before you upload any worlds or any plugins, anything like that, you got to make sure your uh, world or your server is turned off. So make sure you turn it off before you upload anything. But anyway, I'm going to leave my server on for now. I'm going to click on console just here. And in here, you've just got the console. As you can see, the default stuff. You don't need to do anything in here unless you want to opt your minecraft uh, profile so so if you want to up your minecraft character all you got to do is type in uh, up and then your minecraft gamer tag so that is my minecraft gamer tag just there so type that in and if you click that it should up your uh, minecraft character but at the moment i do not have um i'm not logged into my minecraft server so it's not actually working for me just yet i will do that later on and show you how that is done over here we have got players just there you can see the online players i've got no players online at the moment we have got the operators which is the opt players you can do this from here as well add operator by typing your gamer tag just over here you got the whitelist as well you can do your whitelist if you want to and you got the band list as well to see all the band players on your uh, server and down here we got plugins i did not set up a plugin server so i can't do this but you can change if you want to you can change uh, type just here so if i want to install plugins i will have to install craft bucket or spigot and uh, yeah i don't want to do that but you can set that up if you want to now we have got worlds just here so this is the world installed at the moment i've only got the one world just here 
and you can also set up a new world if you want to as well you can do that from all in here the server page just here you've got a few uh like configurations you can do and you don't need to change any of this you can just leave this uh yeah you don't need to change any of that ftp you don't have to do this either now that some stuff is going to be blurred on this page uh because i don't want to show any of the information on here but if you want to do this you can you do not need to do this for a beginner level so i'm not going to do this in this video and down here we've got the error log just here if you get any errors on your server they should come in here and down here we've got reinstall so you could actually reinstall your minecraft server so if you don't want to have vanilla i can change this over to spigot and uh, yeah i can do that from here but i don't want to do that so i'm gonna go back up to dashboard up the top here and as you can see just now my server is online everything is running so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna copy this ip just here and then i'm actually gonna jump into my minecraft server so as you see right now i'm on my minecraft right here and all you're gonna to want to do is click on the multiplayer then click on add server just down here and from here you can name this server wherever you want but in the ip address just pop in the ip we got just a minute ago then click on done and now as you can see here my server has loaded up i can have up to 10 players on my server as you can see so what we're going to do is just click on here and it should load us into our server so here we are in my minecraft server as you can see so this is actually how you set up a minecraft server for free now there is a few things i do want to say that this server is not for 24 7 so that is the only downside to these servers but they are free forever so you can keep the server forever and play with your friends now let me show you how to make yourself an operator if you want to actually get yourself opt on your minecraft server so the first thing i want to do is you type in chat just here and grab my gamer tag so that is my gamer tag right there so i'm going to grab that so let's actually head back over to the uh, server.pro control panel so here we are back at the server control panel as you can see just here so what we're going to do from here is click on the console over here and once you click on the console what we're going to do is click in op just type in op just like that with a space and then put your gamer tag and just like that now i am an operator on my minecraft server now that is very easy to do now i do want to say that earlier i did mention that this server is not for 24 7 and you actually have to renew it every uh, 50 minutes as you can see just here so in 50 minutes the server will actually shut down and what you have to do is click on renew just here and once you do that you have to put in this verification code and click on renew so what it should do then it should make it back up to an hour so every hour you have to come back in here and renew it and uh, yeah you have to do that every hour so that is not very good for some people but some people won't mind too much on that because it is a free micro server at the end of the day and yeah you have to do that every so often now if you don't want to do that you actually have to upgrade and uh, you actually pay for a server so you actually have to do it like that if you do not want that anymore on there but anyway let's go back over to the minecraft right now so i am actually operator on this server as you see just there in chat it's made me an operator so now i should be able to go into creative mode uh, very simply just there as you can see i'm in creative mode just now so that is actually very good now quickly want to just mention that if you wanted to get a really good minecraft server hosting that is up 24 7 and is very reliable i definitely recommend checking out apex hosting now, we'll leave a link in the description down below for the server hosting. A very good server hosting. They have been around for a long time and a lot of people use them because they are so reliable. Now, they can be on the pricey side if you do get one of their servers, but they are very good. So definitely check them out if you want to. Link in the description down below for that. So guys, that is it for this video and I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.